Zypex waterproofing ad mixture can be added to concrete in many different ways. This video will show you several of the commonly used ways of introducing Zypex waterproofing ad mixture in soluble bags or as a bulk powder to a load of ready mixed concrete. While the procedures shown here are well established throughout the world, any method of adding Zypex admix to concrete that will ensure full dispersion of the admix powder throughout the concrete load would likely be acceptable. Where Zypex soluble bags are available, they may be packaged in boxes that can be flattened and recycled. The boxes may contain a blue, clear, or other colored insoluble bag. This inner bag keeps the soluble bags dry during storage and handling. This bag must not be added to the concrete as it will not dissolve. Zypex Admix insoluble bags may also be packaged in plastic pails. When empty, these pails can be neatly stacked for later reuse or recycled. Where bulk pails of Zypex Admix are used, the operator must be made aware that the pails also have an inner bag that does not dissolve and must not be added to the load. The most common way to introduce Zypex Admix to concrete is to add it to the mixing drum before adding the other ingredients. This is to be done just before batching the concrete load. The first step is to ensure that there are an adequate number of Zypex soluble bags or an appropriate quantity of Zypex Admix powder at the loading location. The bulk powder should be prepared by pre-measuring easily lifted quantities into clean pails. Position the truck at the slump rack or other suitable loading location where materials can be easily added by hand to the back of the drum. Water in the mixer drum is recommended to create a Zypex slurry, which aids in the dispersion of Zypex admix throughout the concrete load. The wash water returning with the truck is often adequate. If additional water is used, the operator must note how much water is added to the drum of the truck to ensure total mixing water for the batch is not exceeded. Add the Zypex admix to the drum by throwing the soluble bags one at a time as far forward in the drum as practical. Where bulk Zypex admix is used, the bulk powder is poured into the back of the mixer drum. If pouring Zypex admix directly from the Zypex bulk pail, ensure that the inner bag does not go into the drum. Wash down the back fins to get all the Zypex admix powder into the belly of the mixer drum. Include this water in the total water added to the drum. The driver must inform the plant operator of how much water, if any, was added to the back of the drum for mixing of the Zypex admix powder. Bring the drum to mixing speed and load the remainder of the concrete materials into the mixer drum as per normal procedures, ensuring the concrete load is homogeneous. Hold back from the load any water that was previously added to the drum for dispersion of the admix powder. Zypex Admix soluble bags and bulk powder can also be added by introducing the powder into the batching process within the plant. A common way to do this is to add the bags or powder directly onto the aggregate belt. If safe access to the plant mixer is possible, Zypex Admix may also be added directly into the mixer. Addition of Zypex Admix bags or bulk powder into a concrete receiving hopper for mixing in the truck ahead of the concrete load is also acceptable. Where site addition of Zypex is necessary, the admixture is to be added to water in a pail and blended to create a slurry. The slurry is then poured directly onto the back of the load. The drum is then operated at mixing speed as appropriate to blend the Zypex slurry throughout the load. Processes described have proven successful in producing Zypex treated concrete in over 90 countries worldwide. If you have any questions, please visit our website at zypex.com.